Hello YouTube and welcome. Checkmate here and this is going to be episode 20 in our Let's Play Kerbal Space Program series. If you want to follow along with the playlist there should be a link up here in the top right for you to click and you can go back and I've, this like I said, this episode 20. So we've come a long way and uh, in this episode we're going to do a contract but I need to go over something first. Something bad happened. We lost Valentina. Yep, lost Valentina and actually there was two tourists on board when this crashed. So I was doing that, finishing up the contract from the last episode where we were, we took seven Kerbals to Minmus part of that contract required me to land on the moon and uh, take the tourists to the moon so I was just gonna go knock that out right quick and I went in for my landing and the terrier engine um, you know it had a I had a thrust to weight ratio of around two and a half I think on the moon but the problem was the payload was 14 tons and I started I started my deceleration burn too late and that little terrier just could not stop it in time before we hit the ground and everybody perished so that was unfortunate um, keep losing Kerbals like this <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go broke because it cost me you know 80,000 or so to re to replace a new crew so uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be using my test world a lot more on new designs where I have Kerbals. If you know, if I have a crew on board, then I'm, I'm gonna have to test it. So, but anyway, that's unfortunate that we've lost Valentina. So that's two of our original Kerbals. I think all that's left out of the original is uh, Jeb and one of our scientists which is on board uh, no we lost some, our engineer so we have our engineer and we have Jeb um, that's all that's left for the original crew so anyway in this episode let me go back I'm rambling too much here I'm trying to keep this episode quick but I want to show you I've picked up some contracts We'll be doing these probably the next episode or two. But uh, for this episode, I want to try to repair a satellite in orbit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we'll basically have to go, this is in orbit around Kerbin, and we have to send up an engineer, and he'll, we'll get close, do a rendezvous. We'll get close, and then the engineer will do an EVA, go out to the satellite and make the repair so I was looking at the trajectory on this satellite it's pretty far out there uh, it's this one no it's this one no it's not even that one it's this one let's turn off all this so this one is the one we're shooting for and you see it's out past the moon it's way out there but not only that it's on this weird inclination so at least it's going pro grade um, <clears throat> and we'll just try to launch to match this inclination um, we can use our same little trick and pick our launch our launch window um, but if we look at if we uh, I want to fly this I want to look at the inclination Inclination is uh, 
15 degrees. There it is. That's a neat little satellite. It's got antennas all over it. Oh, that is. Communitron 16. So I think that's the part that's broken. Oh yeah, status broken. So we will go fix this thing. But yeah, we need to be on inclination about 15 degrees. And uh, let's go get our craft ready first. So it's almost um, the Delta V required for a Minmus encounter is 930. So if we had a rocket that could get into Kerbin orbit 3800 and then another 930 for the uh, encounter, Let's see what Delta V we'll be looking for. 3800 and then 930. So that'd be 4730. And then we're probably going to have to adjust our inclination some. So I'm going to add a couple hundred to that. And then we're going to want to get back. We're going to have enough to deorbit. So we'll take about another 200 for that. So if we have uh, 5150 or so. That should be enough Delta V to do this mission. Now I have, I did do one of these off camera. I have done one of these uh, repair missions. Just trying to see what did I use for that. I think I used this orbital rescue mission. Yeah, this has 6180 delta v that's at sea level well in the vacuum we have 6500 so this has two sections we've got our main booster section and then we have a uh terrier yeah we have a terrier so it has 1600 so this should get us um this main booster section should get us into orbit and even probably we'll have another thousand Delta V so it probably could even push us out to our encounter and then once we get there we'll have 1600 to close in on the craft and get back home so this should do the trick we need to make sure that we have I have a repair kit on board and then we need to have an engineer. So I have a pilot and an engineer. So we should be good to go. We need to double check our launch window. Let's see which direction we need to launch. There's so much going on. All right. Uh, Center on Kerbin. If I look at so our launch window needs to be right here, and we need to launch to the north. So if we're on this side of the planet, we need to launch to the north. So let us fast forward time a little bit. Get the KSC in position. faster than that. Here we go. Alright, good enough. Alright, it's going to be a night launch, but we can do it. And we're shooting for 15 degree inclination. Double check my crew. Double check my repair kit. Okay, good to go. Just have to double check because sometimes if you move apart it resets the ship and everything that you had on board gets as we learned in the last in our Skylab video 
because I went back and looked. I did have the crew on that lab, but when I uh, when I saved that lab as a subassembly, I think it reset the crew. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, I'm going to get this into our little parking orbit, and I will cut, and when I meet you, we'll be in orbit. All right, so here we are. Um, put us out we're pretty far out right now, 194 by 130. And I had to do pretty big correction burn to get the inclination right. I ended up spending about 450 delta V. But we're on the right inclination now, match with our target. And now what I want to do is I want to push my periapsis out to touch here, to touch the target. Let's see how circular, 16.4. 16. So it's pretty circular orbit, so that's good. This is the lower side, so we'll push out this way and match um, match the orbit here, and then we'll leave this side short for now. So anyway, I'm going to play around to get this orbit close. I'm going to cut here, get our orbit pretty close, and then I'll come back for the rendezvous. All right, well, here we are. So I'm pretty close. Probably I may need to make some more tweaks here, but let's give it a try. So what I'm going to want to do, I'll put a maneuver at the, well, first of all, I think we're on the outside track here just by a little bit. The satellite should come up behind us. But we're going to be on the inside track here, so I probably do need to correct this a little bit. Um, let me get my periapsis matching. So the target periapsis is 16.258. So I need to get mine up to 16.258. Pretty close there. It's not much of a maneuver. It's very small. And it's nine, well, it's nine days away. These are huge orbits. We're, we're orbiting like, these are moon phases now. So actually, let's see if this will just get us close enough. So this is our intersect here. Or this is the target's position at intersect. This is our closest approach. So if I can push my periapsis out to hmm. this can be a little more difficult on this. Uh, on this large orbit. Oh, 
Okay, so I uh, adjusted my orbit some more, trying to get my periapsis a little better lined up, and I pushed my apoapsis out some more to try to get a little more difference in our orbit so that the speed, because this thing's taking a while to catch up to me at this small difference. So what I'm going to do is just fast forward a little and see how quick this thing tries to catch up with us. It should start, I'm looking at this phase angle, it should start coming down. Oh, we keep getting this mystery goo from uh, Minmus. That's paying off. See, I'm just going to uh, do some orbits here and let it catch up to me. It is slowly catching up. If you look at that phase angle down there, it's closing in. Oh. Alright, we're getting close now, so let's see. See what we can do here. So if I add a maneuver here. And the idea now is to close this back in to match its orbit. So we would want to retrograde back to our targets. It's a uh, 16.45. We want to bring, we want to pull down to our pair, our apple apps is back to 16.453. So let's see. Alright, that's 16.45, 4, 4, 4, Alright, this gives us a close approach, 759,000 meters. <laughs> that's still a pretty big gap to close, but if we can manipulate the period here, I want to see if moving it forward is closing it in. Yeah, it's closing us in there. So all we're doing is we're matching the orbit, but we're changing the time when we do our burn. All right, we're getting close here now. Okay, so it just pulled back. Looks like a 31. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push a little bit of think, uh, retrograde. Pull my orbit back in. Or do I need to go prograde? I'm trying to make this second intercept go away, but it's It's 24. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Well, it looks like 20, 20 kilometers is going to be close as I can get. So I think I'm going to go for that. And we'll just, uh, once we get close... Our relative speed is only 3.1 meters per second. I should be able to burn to the target and close that distance in. So let me give this a try and see uh, see how this goes. So it'll be a retrograde because I'm pulling my orbit in a little bit. It's one hour away from now. I could probably spend another hour just fooling around trying to get get this exactly right. Um, 
Instead of doing that, let's just see if we can get close. So I'm going to be looking at my intersect here. And it says I can get within 20 kilometers. Okay, I think I overshot it just a little bit. And turn that thrust down. That's as close as we can get right there. So now what we want to do is warp to a spot just in front of our intercept. Intercept all about right here. Let's see what we can uh, see. So if I look out in space, I see my target is there. And my relative speed to the target is only 3.2 meters. So I'm going to burn towards my target. That is uh, this indicator here. And I should be able to close this gap. Now I got to look, I got to save myself a couple hundred to get home. So if we get down. This may take a good bit of delta V, I don't know. If we get down too low, we'll have to abandon the mission. Alright, let's just see what happens if I start burning towards this. going to that's 188 meters per second I'm going to let that close in a bit and then I will burn retrograde to my target you see here retrograde I have target selected so retrograde to my target I can slow that down so we'll get close and uh, just slow it down no need to burn too much fuel. I'm getting about 10. Get this down to about 100 meters a second. Time do its thing. Three kilometers out, I'm gonna get this relative speed pretty much stopped. Because I want to burn towards the target some more. Because I need this actually on top of my target there. should be heading right toward it like this I'll go retrograde because we're closing in get that relative speed down we get get within about 100 meters we can EVA over to it Just 
just gotta be patient. So much easier. I should have brought a probe body on here because then I could just click my target. I'll get into about a hundred meters and we'll just space walk over there. So I'll make sure it's still closing in. I don't want it to pass me. Alright, let's slow it down. Can spacewalk 100 meters. All right, relative speed to each other is now zero. Now I want to make sure that Bill, Bill is my engineer. He needs the repair kit. Okay, and now we will EVA Bill. Let's find our target before we separate. Okay, it's out here. I need to actually turn the lights on. That'll help a little bit finding the ship when we're heading back. All right, EVA, got the repair kit. And my target is right here. So let me let it go and turn on my RCS. Have my target acquired. All right, where was that damaged part? I think it's right there. Repair. Antenna repaired. Contract complete. And that was it. That's all we needed to do. So now I'm going to find my capsule. Set that as my target. And start heading back. I just double clicked on it to get my target acquired there. Let's see, I think the door's on the other side over there. Of course the door will be on the other side. Excellent. I wonder if I can do an EV airport from out here. No, I've already got it. Alright, let's board up and go home. That contract's complete. Now we need to do a retrograde burn. And hopefully we have enough Delta V. I've got 500. That is not enough Delta V. <laughs> that is not enough. If we do it at our periapsis, I wonder if that would be better. Because we'll be going faster there. That works. That's only 336 from here. 
So that's that's be what we'll do. So we'll go retrograde. It's gonna be seven days before <laughs> we can do it, but let's get home. Four million, three million, two million, one point five. Six, five, four. That'll work. 162 meters per second to spare. <laughs> it took a lot more than I thought it would. But at least we brought enough. Alright, we, we're going to do this manually now. Okay, we need to separate our and we are 3200 meters per second should be fine we'll go faster than that coming back from Minmus I got plenty of parachute I got three parachutes on this thing overkill but and touchdown all right well that is a repair satellite contract i just wanted to show that one i haven't done one of those on um, video yet they're not really that difficult you just gotta get your rendezvous figured out and that one's a little tougher than normal because it was such a large orbit and making small changes on a big orbit like that was just took me a lot more time to dial in the rendezvous but so that's uh, gonna wrap it up for this episode I think next episode we're gonna start working on getting the lab stations around the moon in Minmus probably do each one a separate episode but once we get those done then we can start looking at going out to other systems starting with some probes probably to Duna probably send a probe to Duna so that will be three episodes from now and if you want to follow along uh, should be a box somewhere right in here for you to click to the series and don't forget to give me a subscribe if you want to follow along and we will see you in the next video <laughs>